You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by our title sponsor, Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, right through April of 2021. Also, our Shark Cast sponsors, including Hightower Westchester Fiduciary Wealth Advisors and White Plains Hospital. Thank you, everybody on the front line. Well, we kick off the year with another episode of the Pulse of the BCW. The Business Council of Westchester is the Westchester County's largest and most prestigious business membership organization, representing more than a thousand members. And today, here we are with Dr. Marsha Gordon. Marsha, it's you know, it's always such a pleasure to see you, uh, no matter what the circumstances. And you know, it was a year ago, just about, that you and I had one of the first conversations in this format under our isolation therapy series. But since then, we've decided let's make a business council series and we're going to call it the pulse of the BCW. So how fitting to start the year off to have you with us uh, and, you know, share with our audience the things that BCW has continued to do. So welcome, Marsha. And if you wouldn't mind just sharing with our audience how members have been able to, to build, connect and win as they've navigated the waters this past year. Thank you so much, Andrew. And thank you everything you've done and wish us to talk radio. This is a very, very exciting opportunity for the Business Council of Westchester and most important for our members. And, you know, since this all started and we are coming up, you know, pretty soon on the year anniversary, which is, which is frightening, right? Um, but we're all still here and, um, you know, and uh, we're all moving forward. And, we, and, and, and business in Westchester, you know, the positive thing about Westchester County is that we are such a diverse economy. And so, look, our, our colleagues in hospitality and events and all of this, it's been a tough time. It's been a tough time for them. But just this morning, we had a webinar, our Tompkins Mayapack Bank Power Breakfast. And we had a webinar where we heard from five businesses who talked about how they pivoted their business to be able to sustain and strengthen and succeed. And so it's very interesting to hear businesses' um, stories about being resilient, which has been our theme, about being flexible, and ultimately about moving, moving their business forward on a different trajectory, but one, but one that makes sense and makes money. And, you know, at the BCW... We did the same. We recognized at the beginning, we were always very, very event oriented. We pivoted to virtual events. You had no choice, fact, right? <laughs> no choice. We learned how to do it. We have wonderful team members that embrace this opportunity. And frankly, we, we far surpassed the number of attendees we had at those virtual events compared to what we have in person. Because Many reasons. Um, one, you know, the convenience of, of doing it from your home, but it's not the same in terms of building relationships. But also many of our members told us that psychologically having those events on the calendars, having to, to, to be ready to talk about their business really, really kept them going. So we became the connector. We became the information resource. Anything that came out from the government, from other organizations, from financial institutions, we immediately, on a dime, we shared that information. We made sure it was correct. And we shared that information so that we became the information resource for our, for our members. And we also became the advocate. We put together a Westchester Economic Recovery Task Force where we looked at all the sectors and asked for their recommendations as to what what should be done to keep the economy moving forward? And we've kept, we've kept up that focus throughout such that even now in January, the middle of January, we've had 12 new members join since January. That's 1. fantastic. And it's not surprising. Uh, you know, you really have been the mainstay throughout the community throughout the year, people looking for that guidance, people looking for the connection. And uh, I know personally myself, I've been on many of those meetings and it's just so nice to see. I mean, clearly the foundation's already there, but um, you've been able to, to help us through and, and navigate the waters. What do you see 
um, on the horizon? What's the outlook for BCW in 2021? What, what, what can you tell us, Marsha? Well, we, we, we have some brand new, brand new um, initiatives that we're starting. Last week, we announced a very, very comprehensive diversity conference. That's been an issue that we were in the forefront of being action oriented to help businesses address diversity and inclusion. And we're very, very excited about the great roster of speakers and opportunities that we have with that, with that conference will be on February 5th. You're the first to hear. We are having a series, um, State of the Economy series, which will be presented by PCSB Bank. We are very excited to be focused on healthcare, on infrastructure, on education, and on retail and hospitality to start. So we're very pleased about that. Our Key Bank Speaker Series, we are having the two new Congress people, Amandair Jones and, and Jamal Bowman speak. So we are moving forward fast and furious. And we're doing that to position the Westchester business community again with, 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 the, with the new regime in, in, in Washington, with, with, our, with our new leaders, to keep the members front and center, to have members learning, to keep members on the cutting edge, and to keep members educated. It's very Marcia, I, I have to ask you, um, with all the things going on and you're able to, to you know, put these events out there for the members, what if somebody wanted to take a look? Are you, is it open to other people too? Yes. Well, people that's ask me that. They've asked me, can I, can I come in on a meeting? And so um, I, I honestly not sure if I'm able to share that or can our members share links to the meetings in the future that are there for them to, to come yes. in? Yes. So, so our, our meetings for our committees and councils are really for members only, but as it turns out, this is a very big difference that the meetings that we're having, not only can members attend, but we actually share them on social media to encourage attendance. To That's be honest, we certainly hope that if people come to a lot of them, they'll 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 join. You know, and um, you know, so so we feel very strongly that we're here to support the entire not only Westchester um, business community, but but the regional business community as well. Marsha, I'll, I'll, I'll end with this one last question. I think you may have touched on it a little bit, but what was it that surprised you the most throughout COVID uh, right up to this point? If there's anything that you felt mm -hmm. surprised you, what would it be? Certainly, I have to come back to the resiliency of the business community and the fact that so many businesses were able to not only pivot, but in fact, some of them change their direction or add to their direction in order, in order to stay alive. And I think what delights me is talking to businesses, I spoke to two today, one that um, made a commitment to keep every one of their employees. And there were several, not, I didn't speak to one, several. And two, that, that it's provided an opportunity for some businesses to hire some great people. And so businesses in Westchester are growing, businesses are adding people, businesses are keeping people. And, you know, and, and we, you know, I'm not, I, I don't want to belittle that, that there are still many people out of work, that there are businesses hurting, especially in those hospitality sectors, hospitality related, but that businesses and organizations have not only stayed alive, but some of them, some of them indeed have, have, have thrived. Yeah. I've heard many people thriving and you know, there's a lot more, there's a lot of good people that have moved into Westchester as well yes. as a result of this. So we have a whole new group of people that we can get to know, get to share, uh, get to build, connect and win. So thank you. I wanna, Marcia, thank you so much. I want to remind our listeners, you are listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy Indian Point Energy Center. You can click the subscribe button under Shark Creative at YouTube, uh, and you'll check out more spotlights on the community as we move forward, particularly the pulse of the BCW. Thank you, Marcia. Great to see you. Thanks. I'll see you soon enough. Thank you. Okay. Be well.